Loki. Hello, Internet. I am Apples the Hero, here again with Loki in Clash, trying to find the perfect Loki build. I think I'm onto something, since I've got a really good record with this build. Um, just to mess up one game with it while I was trying it out. But that was my fault, and partly my team's fault. Because my it was Arena, and the team was super passive, to the point where they'd even just wait on the sidelines, letting the other team just clear the minions, and uh, Loki can't do anything in that situation. There has to be any so some sort of team fight in order to make the team scatter so that Loki can pick one of them off. If there's no team fight, then Loki is effectively engaging and anchoring the whole team onto him. And there's no way Loki can survive that. And I still did have the most damage. So there's that. Uh, aside from that, you're going to find this build very weird. It has a surprising amount of power, given it's effectively a movement speed build, but it's also a tank slayer build. Because of the items in it, it's got quite a lot of pen and does extra damage to gods with higher health than him, which means that it effectively is built for taking out tanks. And I'll try and show that on that Bacchus they've got there. But I'll also be trying to focus down the is Izanami, who is the new god, as I am making this shortly after the 3.16 update. Where Izanami has just come out. So, I'll, you'll be seeing a lot of games that I've recorded around this time, because of course you will, she's a new god. And at some point I'll get around to trying her out. I don't have the gem or the favour to buy it, so can't do that. But... It should be interesting. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do the full build this time. Hopefully I'll be able to actually show it off by getting kills and they don't just turtle under the tower the whole game. And hopefully they don't get two DCs. Because that's what happened last game and it was boring and they surrendered at 10. Didn't die, though. Didn't die once. Did only get one kill, but technically a couple of them were stolen, I don't care. I this build, I don't even care about kill rocks. steal at this build. Because the steal uh, the tools the are pretty easy to get. Not as easy with like, a full power or a full pen build, which are built around dealing max damage. But he still has a high enough damage output, thanks to his yes. power, that he can actually se uh, secure some kills. And thanks to the movement speed, he can get out of it pretty well as well. Hopefully I can show this off. We'll have to see. Right, I'm going to start by rushing Warrior Tabi, and I'll show you the build as I build it. So, if you just want to see the build, skip to the end of the video and you'll see the build in the stance at the end. Uh, it looks like Izanami has gone straight camps. Yes! Someone other than me is clearing back camps for once. That's good to see. Uh, if you don't know, those back camps in Clash are key. If you don't get them, you'll end up drafted the to the other team if the other team is getting them. Of course, if neither team's getting them, then it won't matter. But if the other team's not getting them and your team's getting them, then your team is going to outfeed the other team. And that's always good. I remember correctly, it's up every minute, I think. Yeah, that makes sense, if it is. Right, let's have a look at gold here. I do have the highest gold thanks to clearing that back camp. And probably partly because I'm almost soloing this lane. Um, I'm not going to try and take this. Oh! There's a lag there. 
I'm gonna clear that back camp again. Is an army. Looks like she's trying to take damage camp. Enemies incoming right, incoming right. Bend middle lane. I'm over here. Uh, they're probably going to try and take the mid camp. Another key thing in uh, Clash, if you're not aware, because there is a big buff which you do have to secure if you want Here I am. to do well and we haven't secured it. Um, I'm going to try and secure the mana camp back here. I have to wait a few seconds for my decoy to be up, otherwise it'll, it'll kill me. Right. Oh. Should have kept my own mana. That's an important thing that I often get to do. Uh, it won't kill me. Unless someone ganks me. I shouldn't have a problem. Uh, normally what happens is I end up being the only one who clears all these camps. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, a blade in the dark. So I end up overfeeding everyone else and the team ends up losing because they haven't taken the camps or anything. Alright, uh, Buckus is way out of line here. I knew this one. Alright, as you can see, I am sort of over leveling everyone. I think Anubis has a couple of kills already. Um, Anubis has one kill. Enemies incoming right. Too early to tell how this game's going to go. A little bit too late on the base detector. It looks like AMC is going to die a lot. He doesn't look like he knows what he's doing. He's already... Uh, one and two, one and two. We'll be just hungry for kills. Now, obviously this tank, uh, build isn't going to shred through tanks just yet. It's not got any pen yet, and hasn't got Master Moon yet. Key item in dealing with tanks. Um... And that Ram knows what he's doing. That's probably why he's two and zero, oh. and I'm still zero oh and zero. Oh. Here I am. As I said last video, which I don't know if you'll see, because it was a boring game and I might not upload it. But last video I said this build does struggle with mana. None of the items in this build give mana. You might want to change one of the items out for no one mana. See this coming. So that you can have a bit more sustain. But in a mode like Clash, you can back fairly freely without losing too much. Because it doesn't take long to get back to lane. And with the extra movement speed, getting back to lane is even faster. Um, Enemies incoming right. Cancel that. I don't know what they're doing. Um, damn it. Masamune is finished, so I can shred through this tank like that! That was a massive hit. What is he building? He has no defenses apart from Mark of the Vanguard. Um, which should have been screwing over my tick damage, but I guess I'm just got enough tick damage. Yeah. It reduces each tick of the damage by 5, because it reduces any damage you take by 5. It counters tick damage quite a lot. And earlier on in the game, it might have countered my 1. Uh, but no, no, um, it's doing 97 damage per tick, reduced bound to maybe about 70 damage per tick for his offences, 5 damage to reason to do that. Out of mana. Out of mana. Be careful. Um, don't know what let the eternal darkness what that was doing. Embrace. Didn't get anyone with that. Oops. Oh. I was now fucked up. Okay. Defend right lane. I need to do with that. Um 
okay. AMC might be able to defend that. I don't know. He's doing pretty poorly. <laughs> might just die again. Right, I don't know. Uh, I am leveling, which maybe I shouldn't be, because the one ends up costing more mana okay. and it less often. But leveling the one gives the me the burst because the one does more damage. And I don't want right. consistent damage. An I want big slain. burst of damage. I then get out, even if I don't get a kill. Sometimes it's not enough damage to get a kill. It's unfortunate. But, and other times you just mess up like that. And can't do shit because you miss your basic again. And I should really such no land those basics. Coming. Right, I have a pen item now. I should be tearing through that Bacchus. We'd like to see if I get to fight him. I am under in the goal because I haven't got that many kills. I haven't been staying in lane much. I don't know why I haven't got much gold. They all have more kills than me. I don't know. Thanks. Take this jungle off. Right. On my way. I guess it's not me. Just wanted to clear the buff. I this I don't know, maybe it's just my job to do that and that's why no one else is doing it. I don't know. I don't see people doing it when they're assassins other times either. Maybe they're just being polite because I'm not. Oh, God damn. That's a lot of damage. Killing spree! You rock! On my way! I don't see you recovered. Do you have med or something? No? I don't know. Uh, they will take him. Oh, quick. This just doesn't know I'm here. Yeah. Oh, Damn it. I can, I can tower dive. I just don't want to. I don't like tower diving. It's too risky. I don't like taking risks like that. Alright, this should be down. And I'll take it. An ally has been slain. Oh damn, that AMC. How many does it feel now? Killing Four deaths. Either uh, Itanami is doing very well, that Itanami oh, is way. doing pretty poorly. Bacchus is doing slain. horribly. I am An building one random crit slain. wind demon. It's not for the crit chance really. It's for the passive. So every one in five hits or so. Be careful, Roy. Alright. Um, I might want to back to get another pass. Another uh, relic. Here I am. Uh, I might just want to wait so I can finish off the crit item. I was need for that. 1700. Uh, it might be worth, I don't know. Is he got, really trying kind of, to okay. do this on me? You can't do that on me. Oh, she's almost. <laughs> oh, wow. An enemy has been slain. I only hit her with all the base seasons. That was a lot of damage. I am gonna wait. Uh, go clear that mana buff. So I can go straight into the item because I don't care about the crit chance, it's just the passive and the fact it gives some power. If you're gonna switch an item out for something like Jotun's Ra, that would be it. Alright, Mercury is trying to ult. 
could let a counter roll. Bring him off myself. Or I could just miss and. Oh, I can't catch up to him. Why can't I catch up to him? Oh, that's right, lag. And he actually just used a purification on the slow there. Wow. Just think, just take this. Why is no one taking this? Oh, there's at least I'm cutting sword. Uh, Anubis is over me because he's Rampage. got four kills, and you his army is That's he yeah. was he's a little bit over me. With a couple more kills and all that. God damn it! An enemy has been slain. They want me dead. An enemy has been slain. Come get them. Oh, so it does block her basics. Thought they might go through since they go through everything for the double hit. Be careful, left. I don't know. Zeus just tore through my health there. What? Why is Emir? Emir is carrying. Why is Emir carrying? A blade in the dark. That is one of the things I hate about this game. Support characters. They're supposed to be support characters. They're not supposed to be out leveling and out killing the assassins. It's supposed to be just supporting, not doing damage. Why is he doing damage? Thanks. Why can you do that? Why is that a thing? Uh, we need to push down this tower. No one's attacking this tower. I'll just take it down then. Here I am. Nice job. I won't do that. Do that. And he is done. Be careful. Easy. Not the best game I've had with him. Oh, I get more kills. My team's doing too well. I can't. I'm over here. As you can see, the Wind Demon buff is now giving me a big advantage in terms of giving me all the attack speed and movement speed. Nice job. If it, that triggers, which it will in a longer fight, especially if it's something like a tank, and he has surrendered. Another surrender! Yay! I really wanted that. I guess I'm doing another video to show off the build properly. Uh, let's look at my stats here. Looks like I fixed the lag thing as well. Hopefully I haven't reduced the quality too much by doing so. Yeah, that's that's awful. Clearly lots of caps though. <laughs> I have minion damage since that's really a valuable thing, yay. Even the Imbia got more damage than me. I did get more damage than, than their Mercury though. That's that's nice. What was he building? Movement speed. Let's do a movement speed build. Okay. Well, that was a game. Another <laughs> boring one. Looks like we're just gonna get boring games because because of course no one knows how to play as Nami apparently. The only kill that there is Nami got was an arrow as Nami. And the only death that was Nami got was on from there is a Nami. <laughs> I don't even know what happened, probably got teamed on. 